Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your daily reading. We're going to be looking at what cards are coming up for you, what messages you need to know in love. So this is a collective message and it can be for any sign watching. Um, and I feel like if you've clicked on this video, chances are there's something here that you might want to see or you might need to see, okay, in this current energy. So um, feel free to drop a like if you enjoy this reading um, and subscribe to the channel as well. Otherwise, let's lay out some cards and figure out what's going on in this current energy. Okay, right now I feel like there's a lot of reversals coming up and things appear to be a bit of a struggle. Okay, it's kind of an energy where you feel like you are breaking through or you were making some sort of progress in a situation and then suddenly the universe gives you this massive setback. So I feel a lot of us out there are sort of facing this setback right now. Um, I feel like there's a lot of reversals. You know, we've got... I feel like communication's reversed here. We've got the Ace of Swords. It's almost like you're trying to you're trying to fight or resist something that's going on here. And I think a lot of us right now might be doing that where we're in we're in sort of energy where something hasn't really gone our way or you know maybe we've done something or something's been done to us and we're in this kind of energy where we're like Maybe struggling in a way to process everything that's going on or struggling with these reversals. We're like trying to resist or fight something that the universe is giving to us right now. Not really seeing the bigger picture. Um, and, you know, it's tough. A lot of us are doing it tough right now. So I feel like there was something that happened that's been unfair. I get inequality and unfairness come up in the reading. Like things have been unjust. And I think everything you feel like you've built up, up to this point in a connection with a person you feel has been undone. So it's no wonder you're feeling this major setback, these major reversals, and you feel it in different areas because you feel like something has been undone uh, in a situation here. You know, you have that ace, the ace of swords is here. So I feel like this is an opportunity to fight. Um, but I'm also seeing like communication, like I'm getting the the thoughts that it's like you're fighting for something and you're communicating about it. Maybe you're fighting over a person, you're fighting over an issue, but you're still trying to push what you want or you're still trying to push what your heart wants. Um, and you're maybe pushing it on a situation that is no longer applicable here. So, um, you know, you're feeling this sense of, be feeling deflated uh, because you you keep trying to push for something here, but communication's reversed. Even the hangman's come up here. The hangman is reversed here. So maybe this is more of some things that maybe have fallen apart uh, recently. Okay, it's those like the friendship card is reversed. So you're not you're not in an energy where you feel like you want to open up to people about this or you feel like you want to be friendly to your person. You're, If anything, you're feeling more cold, more distant. Um, maybe you're feeling their, their distance as well here. Um, and what it's sort of saying is, is that these reversals need to happen in this current energy. So it's almost like the universe is giving us something and we try to fight it. We try to fight it because we don't know what else to do. You know, we, we think that fighting for something or fighting for someone is in our best interest, but sometimes it's not always the case. And, you know, you can put your heart and soul into something. It doesn't mean that it will eventuate at this point in time. You know, it's, it's a frustrating kind of energy. You've got those two of pentacles. So it's, it's like you're back and forth. You think about one thing, you feel good. You think about another, you feel not so good. It's like jumping back and forth with these emotions. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's exhausting because it's not, 
the outcome you wanted. It's not what you had envisioned for yourself. And suddenly the universe has given that to you and you're like, you don't know what to do with that because it's like, well, why, why is this happening? Um, let's lay out some more cards, see what's up. Okay, it's around a powerful connection or it's around someone you were very close with. The Two of Cups energy often points to like twin flame soulmates. Uh, maybe this is someone you believed was your twin flame or your soulmate or is. Um, this person could also be incoming. So you've got someone's energy incoming. Um, but I'm getting all these stars next to the Two of Cups tells me you need to heal from this. So you know, either need to disconnect from this connection or you need to heal from this person entirely. It's like, in one way, whatever it was that happened between you guys, whatever sort of history you have, whatever whatever sort of things you went through, in one way it was like fated to happen. Um, and then in another, it's like you need to move on from it. So I feel like maybe the universe is giving you a little bit of conflicting signs here and you don't know what to do with this information. It's almost like it's information overload. Um, Right now, the best course of action with that Four of Swords is, is is telling you not to necessarily act. I think a lot of you out there, you've done, you've you, you've said what you needed to say, you've gotten it off your chest, you've 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 opened up your heart, you've you've communicated to this person, you've fought for this connection, you've fought to resist whatever the universe was sending you. And now I feel like with that Four of Swords energy, you just want to lay low, like you just want peace and you just want calm and you're not getting it out of this situation. And, you know, you've tried one thing and it hasn't worked. And now it's like you need to try something else. You know, Eight of Cups is like you're... you're I feel like there's a bit of soul searching that needs to happen, maybe some some work on your inner self. And I feel like it's the universe's way of telling you to take time to do that. It doesn't mean you have to disconnect from your person entirely, but it could mean just taking sort of a step back to look at your own fears, um, your own insecurities, you know, your own contributions to this connection. Because what you had was real and it's very beautiful here with the Two of Cups. I can see why you'd want to fight for it. Um, and you have that King of Pentacles. So it's telling me everything's going to be okay. Everything will work out how it's destined to work out. How the stars, um, how it's sort of written in the stars, so to speak. But I think with that Four of Swords, it's just, it's kind of like an exhausting energy. It's like you're exhausted from something here. It's taken a lot of your energy, a lot of your time, a lot of your thoughts, right? So uh, this is, I think it's, this is the universe trying to tell you something. Don't resist it because the more you fight it, the more you resist it, the more energy you spend on it. And it's not well spent energy, at least not right now. The timing could change, but I feel like some healing needs to happen. Um, you know, and I feel like it's just a reminder that's coming through in the cards for you at this present energy. Pile on some more cards. Okay. Things could happen quickly. Things could develop much quicker than you anticipated. So a lot of you might be in this state of you know, this is never going to happen again. I feel like this is it. I've been defeated. There's no chance, you know, but there's always chances. There's always opportunities. They are coming up in the cards. Um, Ten of Pentacles upright. I feel like that Knight of Swords, that might be a bit of anxiety coming in and sort of getting the better of you at this time, but it doesn't mean that, that those feelings can't change. Um, so I feel like right now, maybe you sort of put put some pressure on timing or expectations from a person, from a situation. 
they're probably not meeting those expectations in the time frame that you want it to happen. Maybe it needs to happen on their time frame when they're ready to grow, when they're ready to change, when they're ready to act. Could also be you. You know, maybe there's someone here who's putting pressure on you. Um, they're persisting with something, you're resisting, um, and it just keeps going like a cycle. And then obviously it, it just comes to an energy where eventually someone gives up. If not both of you, then one of you. And that's because it's exhausting and you need peace. And I think it's probably you that's watching this. You need that peace. You need that time. You need that energy for you. And I think to have it outside of you is just, you know, it's just, it's not your control. It's not your energy. It's not your journey to control what they think, what they do, what they say, how they act. Let's see what's going on with this person that you're dealing with. Okay, they're they're up and down, a bit of a mixed kind of energy. Five of Wands. They're getting like this mixed mixed emotion that's coming up here. There's maybe some jealousy coming up in the cards. This person may be jealous of you or jealous of something that you are doing or something that you were going to do. Black cat, it's like superstition. There it is. Um, it's like superstition. So I get that. You know, maybe they're like suspicious of you in a way. Um, their intentions may not be as pure as you think right now. Two of, I mean, that two with the high priestess, they could be hiding something from you. They could be doing something behind your back. It's like secretive energy or things they don't want to reveal to you. So for whatever reason, they're keeping things from you at this current energy. They don't have as much. I feel like with the five of pentacles, this is neglect. So this person feels maybe neglected by you or they felt like you left them. There's still emotion here, King of Cups. This person does love you. There is love here in the cards. But the Five of Swords, Five of Wands, they felt rejected. They felt like maybe you, walk, you walked away. You broke it off with them. You were expecting them to grow, to change. And maybe that's what you had to do to see that. Um, but they're feeling it really raw now. But they're doing secretive things here as well. So probably not doing the healthiest of things. Maybe they think it's going to help their situation right now. It doesn't mean that it will. But I think they need to go through their own thing. Whatever sort of insecurities they have. If they're going through jealousy. If they're doing things behind your back. If they're, you know, if they're feeling that loss. They need to go through those emotions. And it's not like... It's not anything you can do or say. Um, but sometimes, you know, they need to do these things, whether, like I said, whether they're healthy or not, whether they're embarrassing them themselves, whether they are, you know, their friends and family are picking up their vibes, you know, they're going crazy, they're acting out, they're lashing out, that's on them, that's their reaction, um, that's their energy. Uh, and I feel like they need to deal with that um, in their own way. Maybe they'll learn from it, maybe they'll see how they're coming across Maybe some friends or family members might say, hey, look, I noticed you're doing a lot of this or you're going out a lot or you're, you know, picking up a lot of people. You know, there's like this lashing out kind of energy and they'll pick up on it. And I think someone might say that to this person. Because they have the Knight of Wands, they're being impulsive and they're acting on the emotions they feel right now. So if they're feeling happy, they go out, they do happy things, you know, they're feeling good, they feel productive. If they're feeling crappy, you know, they go out and they do bad things. Okay, they do destructive things, self-sabotaging things, um, things that maybe hurt you, possibly. Um, but yeah, it's that kind of energy, and I feel like they need to go through it. But um, I'll wrap it up there. I'm sure I'll catch you tomorrow for another reading, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm sure we'll be in touch again. Thank you again, everyone. Bye for now.